YouTube fam, what is going on? It is your boy Dylan Flex. Yes guys, we back at it again with another video. If you are new to the channel and you're into sneaker reselling, clothes, wondering how you can make money, want to take your business to the next level, this is the channel for you guys right now. So make sure you smash that subscribe button. Today we're doing something cool. We're gonna go to my buddy's house. I think you guys know him. We're gonna buy some of his sneaker collection. He wants to sell a lot of it. So hopefully I have some good sneakers for you guys to post on Capital Vegas. I'm gonna show you guys a couple of shoes that we picked up because I know you guys like to see this kind of stuff. One of them's really cool. I actually have never picked this specific one up. So I'm excited to show you guys. All this will be on Capital Vegas. So make sure you guys are following the Instagram. Let's get into it. No, you guys know what those bad boys are right there. Man, this thing is pretty in person, man. I love these joints. But what I love even more than those, I think this is probably one of my favorite shoes still to this day. Off-white fours. Man, the detail, the color. I don't know what it is with this shoe. Maybe it's the silhouette that I love so much. I don't know what it is, man. This is literally one of my favorite shoes. This one's sick. They had to post this one for $1,000. It's a size 8, so it's a women 9.5. I got some base sizes for all you girls asking me, yo, can I get some shoes, Dylan? They said Jordan 1s are the new business attire shoes now, guys. So you already know I got you with the 1s, okay? Base size, 6.5, gonna throw it up for a steal. All stars, beautiful shoe. But what I wanted to show you guys the most is this bad boy right here. And yes, I know you guys have seen Chunky Dunkies. Of course, we all have. I've bought a ton of pairs, but I've never bought in the friends and family. The friends and family is obviously cool. If you guys have not seen what it is, it's literally an ice cream jar that is the box, right? The details on this is extremely cool. This is brand new. It's a size nine. Something about this shoe with the box really just hits different. Probably gonna post this one for 1800. I think the last sale was 2100. So if you guys are in to the Ben and Jerry Chunky Dunkies, and want a pair of SBs, this one is sick. I just like the box, man. This is like a collector's item. If you're into these shoes, this box is just so sick for display. One of the coolest shoes I've seen hands down detail wise, guys. But wanted to show you a couple pickups really quick. This is just what we picked up right this second. We are gonna go now to my buddy's house. He said he wants to sell his whole collection. I think you guys know this guy. He hasn't been on camera for a while. He's a good friend of mine. Let's see what he has in store for us. Just to show you guys that we ship every single day. Some of these are your mystery boxes. Some of these are just orders going to UPS right now to ship out packages. We are on our way. Man, this thing sounds good. Sheesh. Well, well, well. Look who it is. Blake. Back on YouTube. Blake, so what is this? This is the, the man cave or what? Explain this to the peeps real quick because they haven't seen you for a minute. This is like a, like a little nostalgia room I created. Uh, the only reason I honestly did it is because, I don't know if you guys remember from the YouTube days, like growing up, like I had like all the charger stuff on the wall. I had like a desk. I actually had this exact same, you know, couch recliner thing. Like these things recline, like their little setup here. This is sick, I like these. And I was just like, it'd be cool to have a room like this now, now that sneakers aren't what I do, but you know, I'm fortunate enough to be in a position where I could at least still have them and look at them and, and enjoy wearing them. Like I wear different shoes all the time, like even like this, like I just honestly got back from work, but I still wear sneakers and everything like that to, to the work to fit. office. The work yeah, fit, sometimes you know? like like on days that we have like in like you know in person meetings and stuff like that, I'll dress a little nicer. If not maybe more like tech fleece, like stuff like that. But today I did, so today I dressed a little nicer. But yeah, like I just basically wanted to create a room that was like my childhood in a room. So I went with the sneakers, I went with like the Chargers rug. This actually, I had this exact same rug actually, like when I was like a little kid. Like, this was literally in my bedroom. The first uh, time I've seen this, this is it. Well, I had to rebuy it. I got rid of it when I was like 10. <laughs> but I'm like, I want it back. Got some memorabilia, some, you know, different stuff like that, a little beanbag chair. And just like kind of a fun place to hang out, like sit really close to the TV, play PlayStation. I don't really play much video games, but. Play PlayStation. So what's TV. going on with the sneakers now? You you don't do sneakers, but you still collect sneakers. So do you buy? Do you sell? Let the people know a little bit, because I haven't. Nobody talks to you on, on YouTube. So I'm lucky enough to to get to talk to the the man I, himself. You know what I mean? I, I like deal with shoes still. If that right. makes sense. Like I don't actively seek buying shoes. I don't actively seek selling shoes. I guess I don't really trade. But at the same time, like if. If someone hits me up, they're like, hey, like, I have, like, my whole collection, like, I really want to sell it really bad, you know, will you buy it? And they tell me their prices and they're all so low, like, I'll, all right, I'll take it because I know how to resell it, like, very, very quickly on, you know, GOATS, StockX, or whatever it may be. And then 
this, at the same time, like, I love having, like, all these different shoes, especially, like, shoes like this, like, shoes that I, like, just, like, resold and wore and stuff like that when I was in middle school and high school, and so, like, when I see those kinds of shoes, I buy them, especially, honestly, most of the stuff in this room that's in this part, I probably did buy from you just because it was like, oh, shoot, I haven't had that shoe in five years, like, I'd love to have that, and it's like, went out and So, would you say the you. sneakers you have now is stuff that you just personally like? And it's just stuff that you've always wanted or wanted and just want to keep? Yeah, it's like, it's honestly like, it's mostly stuff that taps into the nostalgia value. So it's like very little that has probably come out in the last four years, like I own, unless it's something that I just personally been like, wow, that's crazy. Like I have like most of the off-white Nike sneakers, like something like that I have, but like the stuff that I've been buying is stuff like these KDs or like these Jordan 3s, like these five lab 3s or... I guess I'll do this like these laser fives, like just stuff that I had or wanted as a, as a young kid that I just, you know, never really bought and held for myself and, and just enjoyed wearing it and wasn't worried about, oh, if I scuff it, then it's an eight out of 10 instead of nine out of 10 and stuff like that. Like, nah, I just kind of there. enjoy it, yeah. So what do you want to sell now? So I got a lot of brand new sneakers that I just, the room's getting full is what you mean? Yeah, the room's getting full. Like, this stuff isn't even stuff that fits me, to be honest with you. And there's some good stuff in there. Like, people don't realize probably how many shoes I have at a given time. Like, even now, like, way after YouTube. But um, some of the stuff's pretty crazy. Like, I'll show you a couple. Right, let me see a couple I'll just see some Kobe's, but... Wow. Well, brand new. What the Kobe's. Uh, that's obviously a Pantone pack. Got some... Pinnacles right here. Got a brand, oh. brand new uh, for the foam lovers out there. I oh like yeah, those. these are cool. Like if these were my size, I probably would not sell them. I actually like foam. Same with these. So this is a combination of a couple different sizes. This is stuff you accumulated from the time. Yeah, I mean it's stuff. Well, no, it's not necessarily stuff that I've had since I was a little kid. Like honestly, like this stuff's I've gotten pretty recently. Like again, like people will hit me up to sell me a bunch of stuff, and if it's a good price, I'll be like, all right, like I'll just take it. But you can't pass up the money. Yeah, like <laughs> why, why, why not? Supreme fives, yeah. Supreme those are fives. Nice. You got some good stuff. There's the white ones. Black one. Black one. Nice. So it's a common, even some designer in there too. So it's a combination of a couple different things then. Yeah, definitely some different things. Like even, even some stuff like this that you, you probably don't even see that often anymore. Like, or just see that often in general. Like these are the. Oh, look at those. No, they don't see those anymore. Photo reel, 29s. It's pretty sick. Like these ones are all brand new. Like all the shoes that I've been keeping, like I've pretty much worn. And like, honestly, I do still to this day like probably wear like a different shoe like every day like just for fun like i even like in the last week like i really wore these they're just something like so really? different yeah like i was like why not like i haven't worn foam since 2017 like i'll, I'll wear them one day that's cool you guys wear whatever now yeah but uh yeah so that's this room and then upstairs in my closet is where i have like my personal rotation which is probably like 60 or 70 pairs of shoes also in these boxes so like this, this is literally just the stuff that you had to keep in the main cave yeah yeah, I, I like at one point I was trying to keep it in my closet and I made like aisles and stuff, but it looked like honestly like really weird. And like I'll, it, it would have been cool when I was like 16, 17, like, oh, I have aisles, like I feel like I'm mayor, like all that kind of thing. But now it's just like well, even I can't even too. see what's in my closet. So I was like, I'm just going to put it down. I'm so downstairs. far where there's too many shoes. You're like, no, I'm good. Yeah. Well, also because it's like, it's like. I would wear them all and like stare at them and appreciate them and stuff like that. But at the, at the same time, it's like, I don't want to do that in my closet. I want to do that in a room like this and I can sit here and like, as I'm sitting here, it's weird. Like having the shoes around, like it adds to like the vibe. Like I'm like, it sounds very weird, but like I like being surrounded by it. And, I like the same thing. And in a weird like the way, like thing. it's not even from a materialistic perspective. It's just like, wow, like if 12 year old me would have known what 21 year old me would be able to have and see and do and all those things like this would this was like what I was like just work hard and you'll get to this like this is part of what that was for me so it, it means something to me to have all these different shoes here but if someone ever comes in and is like hey can I buy these off you like I don't have a particular emotional attachment to more than like two or three of 
the pairs in my whole collection. So I'm like, okay, sure. Like, I love when you shoot me with the text, hey, Dill, come over. I'm selling sneakers. Yeah. That's like, my favorite. No, it's my favorite text. He's like, yeah, Dill, you busy? Nope. Coming on over. Yeah, literally. So the last question before we start buying, and I'm not going to show everybody everything. Are you going to get back into some of the YouTube? People want to know. This is the first video ever. Are you going to do videos? Because I get questions. I think everybody gets questions. They, they love to watch you on YouTube. They love to see your life. What are your thoughts? What are you up to besides that? Uh, so life is very good. Right. Uh, you know, I'm the CEO of a marketing agency, and that's a big reason why I don't do YouTube. Is just I, I literally do not have the time to do it. I don't think people know that. That's why too, though. And I, right. Well, I think people know that I have the company, but I think people are like, oh, like he's he maybe calls himself CEO and like he has a company, but you know, it's similar to maybe what you know. I feel like a lot of people are entrepreneurs and have companies and stuff like that, but you know, like we have 22 employees, we have an office. Like it's an actual. Not that other companies aren't, but it's a very no. This is it's a very yeah. active and actively growing company, and it, right. it just requires all, all of my focus. I mean, it's usually like twelve to fifteen hours a day, um, traveling usually two to three days a week. So I just it would just not be possible for me to personally do YouTube unless I had like a videographer film me while I had like a mic on, <laughs> edit it, the whole thing, which is right. like really how I wanted to do YouTube. But at the same time. As a result of the last couple of years of work, my schedule, I think, will be somewhat clearing up enough and it'll be interesting enough that hopefully uh, I can bring YouTube back to some capacity, but probably not sneakers, to be honest. I think that's what people wanted to know right there. And I seen the company from the ground up and it's a no joke, guys. The company that he I has is, <laughs> the company he has is no joke. We're gonna jump into some sneaker buying. I'll show you guys what I buy. Stay tuned. I just got back from Blake's house right now. I did buy a lot of stuff. I don't want to show you guys everything. That might have to be literally a separate video. And I will be posting most of these shoes on Capital Vegas. So you guys will see it here first. I wanted to say thank you guys so much for the love, all the comments, all the positive feedback that you guys give. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for the next one. Man, I just wanna go fast. Hold on my teeth and on my neck.